Currently a 12 hour drive up north. I'm here with my buddy John from the Lost Lakes channel and we're here at Puckasa National Park. And over the next couple days, we're gonna be paddling down the Puckasa River, down to the Lake Superior Coast and then heading up the Puckasa Coast to our takeout point. And it's an absolute dream trip of mine. It's gonna include whitewater paddling, big old portages, big lake paddling, fishing, beautiful scenery, hopefully seeing some wildlife and obviously all the random bits and bots and bobs and boops that could be included in a longer trip. So I'm so stoked to be here. We're in it, we did it. It was a lot of prep work. We're here, can't wait to get into it. Super grateful. Let's do this. All right, listen up. I don't like you and you don't like me. So we're I just... like you. Good, cause I like you too. I'm pumped for this trip, man, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be fantastic, unforgettable. We're here. Yeah, look at how small the river is right now, eh? Yeah. We'll see what it's like. I brought a pin kit. So this is. This is in case one of our canoes gets stuck. This will help us get out. Without it, we could be in a lot of trouble. If you get swept like that, lean into the rocks. Because if you lean into the water, the water will come over and just totally swamp you. But if you lean into the rocks, there's a chance it'll push you up and over. Yeah, the opposite direction of the flow. There's a strainer. No, it's really deep, but there's a strainer here. Sorry, dude. I can't get my nose around. Can you get back up a little? Oh. You okay? Yep. <laughs> oh. Woo. You need to help, John. I'm here, buddy. It's so hard to turn here. Yeah. I was worried if I caught my nose on that rock. Yeah. It could actually kill me. You gotta paddle hard to get around this. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> I saw what was happening, I did not like it. <laughs> Yeah, they're real, eh? Yeah. Yeah, sweepers are real. Yeah. Bit of a clunky start. 
What a way to start. What a way to start. This is not a how-to guide. for my confidence so that was very close to a pin on not deep water like you we were just saying and yet I still made the mistake and it took all my force to get it off that rock and if the water was any stronger I wouldn't have been able to and it would have pinned for sure it was like right on the threshold I was extremely lucky trip ender right there could have ended the trip right there we would have had to go back out and Xander would have gone and done some solo trip but <sighs> Gonna have to play it safer. Be smart. Should have followed Xander. Xander waited that, and I was like, oh, I think I can sneak down a little farther. And then suddenly we're getting pushed into a nasty little section. Yeah, water's moving. It's stronger than it looks. Always. It can take you in a second, and you can be in a dangerous situation before you even know it. Yeah. Thankfully, I had Xander here, and he's been helping me out through these initial struggles. I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Try to keep smiling, set up camp hopefully before too long and try and settle the nerves. Sorry man, it's awful. Oh, don't be sorry. Man. The worst tripping partner right now. No, you're good. I'll get there. No, this, I'll do it. This just helps me, like this just reminds me of how serious this trip is, you know? feel pretty bad for John. He's probably pretty rattled with those two spills, but in all honesty, it's good that those things happen. It's good to get some, uh, yeah, a little bit, a couple failures underneath you because it'll help you learn quick. Because uh, this is serious. What we're doing is pretty serious. And it's a good reminder to me too to, you know, take it slow and uh, take it easy because you can get into a pretty bad situation pretty quickly. It's pretty steep and narrow. It's a decent flow to it. It's not runnable, that's for sure. We could maybe line it. There might be a portage to the river right here. I think I'm gonna line it and wait it. So we're at the beginning of the river here, so it's quite narrow. The water levels are also not extremely high, so water flow is not super voluminous. Rocks are everywhere, hazards are everywhere. This section of the river is supposed to be quite difficult. Um, lots of hazards, strainers, rocks, those types of things. So it'll be um, a tough two days, especially tomorrow. We're gonna push as far as this falls, um, Kohler Falls. Camp there tonight and then big set of rapids tomorrow. Sorry, long set of rapids tomorrow. So for this trip, I could have used the tent or the hammock. I opted for the tent because Later on in this trip, we're going to be camping on some beaches and I feel like it'll be a lot nicer being out on the beach shore as opposed to being deep in the forest. And we're also going to be camping at campsites. So there will be spaces for me to set up my tent. And obviously there's going to be a lot of spots for John to set up his hammock for, for both of us. What a start to the trip. Just a huge reminder we got to take this one slow and that there could be pretty serious consequences if we, we don't. We really are out there. It's hard to backtrack at this point. Yeah, we're in it. And wrapping a canoe or pinning a canoe or, oh my God, if, some, if one of us gets hurt, it's, it's really serious out here. So tomorrow's supposed to be a really difficult day. It, it'll be much longer sections of what we were doing today. Log jams, pullovers, 
We're gonna have to wade line. Maybe we can run some bits. It's gonna be tough. I'll be one of the tougher parts of the trip. Looking forward to it. Dinner time. Time for food. Dinner time. It's time for food. Hello there, love. Hello. So tonight, a couple sausages with chicken pot pie that I dehydrated. I literally took a chicken pot pie from the store that was pre-made, heated it up, threw it in the dehydrator, bada bing, bada boom. This mashy dry stuff. That rehydrated really nicely. It's kind of like a mashed potato consistency. Oh my God, it tastes like a chicken mashed potato. Chicken pot pie mashed potato. Oh, it's perfect. So delicious. Quite the little scratch in there, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, that's just beautiful. <laughs> it's been a day. Yeah, we're off to a good start. I don't necessarily know about good, but it's a start. It's sarcasm. Oh, I didn't get it. She's all scraped up. So before this trip, I had to do a lot of prep work on Patches because Patches is my canoe name and I absolutely love her. But there's a hole underneath the front seat, which I knew about for a long time since I got the canoe used but I've never patched it until I saw it starting to come through the other side, which is crazy because there's a hole right through my canoe and I didn't even know if I was leaking water or not. So before this trip, I uh, did a whole patchwork with Kevlar on both sides, on the inside and the outside. It took uh, a couple days, it was a lot of work, quite a bit of headaches were had, but we got her done. And uh, Patches has a couple more patches on her. Not only that, we replaced the yoke because that was completely broken. We got her nice and outfitted for this trip and uh, quite happy with where she's at. Two sausages for Xander, none for John. Here on the puck, we'd call these here sausages done. That's what we do on the puck, we, uh, that's how we talk. Stop it, Jonathan. Here's one for you. <laughs> Your face. I could have grabbed it so easily. Your face. No, these are both for me, silly John. Already had two Smokies, they were bigger than those. Hey. Quite satisfied. Don't it's not talk about, about the, the size. adequate size of my it's Smokies. how you use it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Hey John. Hey. How'd you sleep? Pretty good, you? Yeah, good man. It's in the freezer. What food? Oh, all the food you have? All my dehydrated food. All your dehydrated food. In the freezer. All your dehydrated food. All of it. How much dehydrated food is that? 
two Korean rice, two burrito, six chili and garlic bread, eight dal black, ten Mexican quinoa, twelve my pasta sauce, and my instant hash browns, fourteen. So yeah, over a th just over a third of my food. Damn it, dude. Oh my god. We're only six kilometers from the launch, but a pretty shit kilometers to travel. And one of my food barrels so light. And I was wondering like, man, this fit really easily. I'm surprised. Oh my god man, I can't believe it. I thought I put all my food to pack in the fridge. And then I took everything out of the fridge, but no, the uh, dehydrated fruit is still in the freezer. Chest freezer. It's not very easy to go uphill. No. No it wouldn't be. You can check up my food to see how much food I drive. You need a lot more fish. I need a lot more fish. <clears throat> like we we have enough to get by, but if we eat more fish, oh, it just like ruins my meal plan so bad. So we've decided to press on. Xander was good to do whatever we needed to do, but uh, I can't bear to go back up those that section and then back down it as well. Just gonna press on, like. I we'll have to ration our food a bit more, eat significantly more fish. I have no, no doubt in our ability to catch fish here, especially on Lake Superior. I fish Lake Superior a lot, so we'll make do. Uh, maybe we'll find some something to forage, like fiddleheads. And uh, I'm a survivalist now, apparently. Chili on nine <laughs> with cheese. Oh wow, that's good. Please have some, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Grab my food. This guy. 30. The river seems pretty tame here. We're gonna put in wade and line and wade and line and portage and bushwhack and wade and line and portage and bushwhack. It's gonna be a day. Pretty damn intimidating. Might not look like much, but goes on like that for a couple kilometers. One step at a time. One step at a time. We portaged a bit further. We we're at the lower campsite of Polar Falls. We thought we were a lot further than we were. Unfortunately, we're not. Anyways, we found a paddle. It's a little bit longer than my normal paddle. I might bring it. I was hoping for a longer paddle than your one is, so. Yep. This was pretty intimidating earlier today, but we're getting through it one step at a time. We're waiting a lot of it. It's quite bouldery. It's really easy to try to run and then just hit a boulder and get knocked off course and take on water uh, and get into a really bad situation pretty quickly. So waiting it is the play here. Slow and steady.
a rubber paddle. <laughs> you don't need them. Sweet. I like it. Yeah. I love free <laughs> This is my favorite paddle now. It's got like speed grooves from being in and out of the fire apparently. Whoever last used it abused it and uh, chose. got through the most difficult stretch of the river so far and honestly the whole vibe has changed. It is absolutely beautiful out here. It went from hostile and foreboding to oh, just so beautiful. <sighs> what relief. I can speak for both me and John when we say that we both feel pretty good to be in this position. Now we just got to worry about <laughs> the lack of food that we have. <laughs> And all the rapids and huge portages and then the big lake paddling. Yeah, still a lot to come. On the ground? That's my first brook trout. Look at that. Huh. Well, okay. I need to bonk it. Do you have a bonk? Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Was... It's hard. There, I find they're one of the hardest fish to dispatch because so they're so pretty. beautiful. Oh, I broke its head off. Well, it's dead for sure. First brook trout ever. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's get a couple more. Oh! No! 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 You come into my net. Oh, that's why we keep. Oh. I almost lost my dead fish because my dead fish is in there. That's two brookies. Lunch. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm getting fish goo everywhere. Oh, I'm gonna get mauled by a bear. Look at that. These are my first brook trout, so we're just gonna do them nice and simple with vegetable oil, salt and pepper. Yeah, they're cleaned out nice and clean. A little bit of salt. Maybe a little bit on the inside. I don't really know. Thanks, John. All right, because this is my first time eating brook trout, I'm gonna do one of them in just salt, and the other one, uh, John graciously blessed me with some salmon seasoning. Good do. I think it's done, man. It won't be along the spine, I guarantee it. You can start pulling flesh off the, the sides if you want. Mm. But the spine will still be raw. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's like beautiful and delicious. I know. That's why it's so revered. Look at that mitt full of meat. Fresh as can be. Wow, this is really special. Yeah. It is. 
and we got through that day. Couldn't have pictured a better ending. No, me either. This campsite. campsite. <laughs> Rookies. These small ones a piece. The small ones are, in my opinion, the tastiest. Such a cool thing to be out here. Only day two on the river, but I'm in it. Yeah. Oh, crossed the threshold today. No doubt. Eating my first brook trout in Puckasa National Park. With my good buddy John. It was a tough day. Not nearly as tough as we were anticipating, but it was good that we thought it was going to be harder than it turned out to be. But yet, it was still hard in other ways. Mentally, I feel absolutely drained right now. It's probably 8, just after 8 o'clock, and I think both of us are about ready to crawl in the bed. We're in it. We're in it, John. Hell yeah. There was a moment today where it was like, we're in the trip, man. You know, it felt like we were like, we're in it. Yeah, I love that feeling. Yeah. I was waiting for it all week as we were waiting to leave for the trip. I was just like waiting for this moment where you feel like you're in the moment. You're in it. No turning back now. No turning back now. Oh, it's a good feeling. Good morning. It's cold out. Yeah, it is. How'd you sleep? Not bad, it was a little cold. I was cold too. Yeah? Yeah. It's not garlic bread. It'll be so disappointing when we go to eat that garlic <laughs> bread and we find out it's just burk burk. There's also garlic bread. Just lacks this bag now. Steel cut oats, yogurt that I dehydrated at home, and blueberries. A couple of blueberries, some maple syrup. Bon appetit. Well play. Very good. Day three, we've been rationing the food, but I feel the, the hunger is starting to sink in. I'm starting to look at John in different ways. Like a big walking, delicious piece of meat. I mean, he doesn't need all his limbs. Second set of rapids, Varian Rapids. So we're gonna to wanna to start river right, come river left, and then river right and Eddie out there. Or if it looks clean, we can just keep going. Awesome. Not bad. Yeah, it's great, man. Thank <laughs> you. 
know that. Beautiful looking fish. Can't say it seems better days, eh? <laughs> Got all the alder just growing in. Hasn't had a fire in quite a while. All right, we're gonna do this same as yesterday. So I'm not gonna use John's seasoning. I'm gonna use my own. This is just steak seasoning. I don't know why I brought it, but I got it, so I'm gonna use it. John, you ever season a brook trout with steak seasoning? Okay, I have. All right, well, I'll let you know how it is. It is like super tasty right now. We'll call that done. Tastes like brook trout with steak seasoning. It's delicious. It's really good. Mmm. Wow. What a nice fish. John? Things are gonna be alright. You would do it again? Things are gonna be alright. Yeah, with the steak seasoning? It's yeah. the only seasoning I brought. It's delicious. Thank you. Of course, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, great. Great. It's only just after four, but because we're so far north, it feels like noon, how bright it is. We have a couple more sets of rapids that we're gonna call for the day. It could be bony. I think I'm gonna go for it. it might be a waiter though. It's like Can you give me a time left at the end if it's good, and if not, then I'll wait it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I might hop out and just start waiting. Yeah.
that's the end of all the rabbits for the day. That feels good. We are both extremely tired. I think we found home. Beautiful campsite. We're pretty beat, so this couldn't have come at a better time. Woo! So the water's absolutely freezing at this time of year here on the river and also on Lake Superior. So this trip would be absolutely impossible without a dry suit. So a huge shout out to Level 6 for sending this one out for me. I absolutely love all their gear, including the Odin, which is what I'm wearing. God, I love it so much. It's comfy, it's warm, and it keeps you dry. The way it works is it has gaskets on all your extremities, your neck, your hands, and the suit goes all the way down around your feet. So everything underneath stays dry. Got a quick little relief zipper here, which is also waterproof. And then to get in and out, you got this awesome big zipper. Which I should have undone all the way first. Boom. Jump into my Crocs. And I'm perfectly dry, ready to party. Tonight for rations, we're doing polenta with dehydrated Alfredo sauce and sausages that I opened up a couple days ago. They look disgusting because they're in a chicken pot pie bag, but they should be good. I'm winging this. Spruce it up with some cheese. Right now it looks pretty decent. Wiener party! Woo! John and I are both feeling pretty toast at the moment. Good day, long day, pretty beat. I feel like my rapid running ability is getting better and I can clearly see it in John too. Now I have a lot more confidence in this trip that I did on day one or the beginning of day two. Bucket O food. Mm. With green onions, man. Mm. You've never had corn food before. You say it's like cornmeal basically? It is cornmeal. This is just cornmeal. Good. All right, so we're using a number of maps for this trip. We're going down the Pakasa River to the Lake Superior course and then going up the Pakasa coast. We're using John's friend, Gord, his set of topo maps with lots of great notes for the rapids and campsites. We're using George Drow's uh, Pakasa River canoe guide. And then when we get to the coast, I'm using the Pakasa adventure map. So stoked to be here. Oopsies. So we actually started off this map outside of Pakasa National Park and we are coming down the Pakasa River. It's hard to see here. All the way to the coast and then all the way up the coast. We are currently somewhere in here, not quite on the halfway mark, but we're getting close. So it's a pretty epic trip, around 160 kilometers total. Not extremely far, but with navigating rapids, portages, bushwhacks, wading, lining, and coastal paddling, it's a pretty hefty trip. Pretty darn epic trip. I'm so hungry. Would you please let me have some of your food? Make sure if you were to do this trip, travel with the right canoe partners. Mine suffers from memory loss. <laughs> Called amnesia. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to pack my food. Could I have some of yours? <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. How to get out of dehydrating food. I was going to do that. That was going to be my gameplay. <laughs> like, that was my trick for this. And you pulled the card. You did it.
I don't know how you could beat a day like today. But I'm sure there's going to be other days on this trip that are going to beat this one. So happy to be out here. Honestly, what we thought was the hardest section yesterday, I feel like might be easy in comparison to some other stuff that's coming up. We have some very difficult rapid sections and some big portages and some big decisions that we have to make. And not to mention all the big lake paddling that we have to do when we get to Superior. So, I'd like to say that we're in the clear, but I honestly think we're just getting started.